So let Jeffrey and Lydia handle it. They're probably monitoring the whole thing anyway. <laughs> That's not it either. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's up? This is going to be how to um, use Logic Pro with FL Studio from the start. Just to kind of walk you through it, speeding up the boring shit. Um, so basically, in the background, what you're going to have to do, or what I did, right? I'm showing you two examples. Stay with me. It'll all make sense. Um, in your audio MIDI setup, right? In your uh, wiggly sections, click, click. All right, but you know about your audio MIDI and stuff. I'll show you MIDI setup. Basically, what you're gonna have to do is go to right here, your IAC driver, double click it, and set up some channels. I just set up three, and I put like the third one, I named it Sync, just like double tap or whatever, click and name it what you want. I named my third one Sync, and that's the main one I'm using here. So as long as that's active, and remember to um, click this little, thing here devices online um after that that's pretty much all you need to do with that and so here in logic this is my basic setup um the audio channel is important and the fact that what's going on in my audio is that my input device is an internal program called i show you audio capture basically you can use any internal audio routing program pick which one that you want to use or what works with your version of mac or whatever um and then last but not least in the midi section go to sync i'm doing it the the boring way like logic preferences like midi then go to sync and then you can open up um this part, I believe, is the most important. You can pause the video and look at the left part. But you want to come in here and click um, Transmit MIDI Clock Destination and to your driver that you set up in your IAC MIDI thing. So I click my sync one. That's pretty much all I have to do on this side. And so it's looping four bars. If I just open up FL quickly... Um, it should already be set up, but options and go to MIDI or use the shortcut F10 or whatever. And on your input side, you want to select that name you have and then enable that, right? Click enable it. And that should pretty much have you set up. Now, the interesting part about doing it this way, because there's another way I'm going to show you in a minute. You can set your BPM over here to whatever you want, but like for I'm going to set it to 92 and turn on where is my bloody, that is my metronome. Make sure that's on. Come back to logic. Uh, turn off this metronome. Press play. Yep. And see, since my audio, that's the last part of it. My bad, my bad. The audio side of FL is going out to that internal program, the I show you audio capture or whatever one you choose to use, right? Um, so on the logic side, on my audio channel, if I want to monitor it, I have to put the input monitoring on. And now, so let's click play. And see, that's triggering FL Studio, right? So with the little MIDI wizardry we just did, when we stop it, it stops. When we play it, play, right? Um, and then if we turn on the metronome in logic too, Right, you can see it synced. And for me, that's good. Like, you can tinker around with the specifics and the delay of all that in the settings. You know, you'll find it if you want to do that and tinker around with that part to really tinker it in. That's good for me. Um, and so now I can work with FL and Logic. So whatever I wanted to do, I could turn off the metronomes now. But anything you wanted to do, right? Just keeping it simple. I could throw in loops and stuff real quick. Or blah, blah, blah. We could get logic over here. This, just, I don't even know what this is. Let's just throw it in, see what happens. And there we go. Oh, that's terrible. Right? But that's just... It's, Right. And 
so it's just that simple. You can see it's synced and everything. Um, you just got to remember to click on your input channel, your monitoring channel. Until you um, record in what you want from FL Studio, you have to keep monitoring what's coming in from FL Studio, which is kind of annoying. Right, that's horrible. So we're going to stop that. But you see what I mean. So moving on to part two of this, right? We're just going to, let's delete all this. Let's close the FL Studio over here. Right. And so at the end of my other video, it was late. I was tired. I kept trying to rewire FL Studio and it doesn't work. Right? When you open it up by itself, you have to do it like I just did and route your audio and deal with that whole jiggery. But um, the, the other way, the easier way, you just kind of and this is how you do it in um, Pro Tools, too. I know that much. You just load a software instrument. You go to change your instrument. Right, you go down to AU Audio Instruments, you go up to um, <laughs> Image Line, and you go to FL Studio, and then you launch like whatever one you want, like the stereo one. And it launches as a plugin. You click the little Fruity Loops thing, it launches as a plugin within Logic. Right, so let's just do something dumb. Um, what do I want to do? Who cares? Watch, I'm gonna fast forward real quick. We'll, we'll get something going. Something like that, you know what I mean? And you could lay it down, and you see we got the plug-in up from FL Studio still over here in front, controlling, you know, start and stop, a playback from over here with FL Studio, and you see that's the plug-in within Logic. If you get what the giddy hap is going on with, it's just the channel over here like a regular plug-in coming into Logic's mixer, as you can see down here. So you can add the plugins right here as you normally would. I can quickly start throwing it to my uh, internal feedback loop channel over here. Um, I kind of want to do it just to waste time and show you. But more wiggly, I wanted to show you, because I kind of clicked the FL Studio down here again by accident. And so you still can be controlling another instance of FL Studio at the same time. Now, I don't know why anybody would want to do this, but just to let's just put all hats in just to I want to make it obvious and kind of annoying that it is um, working together. So back in Logic. Same same setup with it as far as the MIDI and all that. And so, but remember, you got to monitor that channel. You got to have your input channel selected. And so, 
<laughs> you got two FL Studios, man. I know they're both just doing drums right now. Except this one is also... I could open this and be playing... Like, I know it's stupid because I could add the hi-hats in the other FL studio. But, like, at, at the same time, you do kind of have, excuse me, you do kind of have more power. This one is on, what is that, like 50% swing? You see it up there? And the other FL is not on 50% swing. So, let's watch. I'm going to make this one 50% swing, too. Let's see what happens. Oh, so it's like you do have more power working with both. I'm going to have to make a beat just with both of these because I just found this now. So that's how you make um, Logic Pro work with two instances of FL Studio, the VSTI version and the standalone version controlled with it too. So this standalone version again I can change the tempo of it so I can make this like 60 if I want it just because I want to be wiggly with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm just spreading the news. Maybe this inspires somebody. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah. I'm going to mess with it. And then the swings, the different. Uh, that's just a kick and a clap. And then some hi-hats. Like, that's so simple. But the the flexibility and the just with the tempo switching of the one. And then, man, and we ain't even, man, we ain't even really put nothing in on Logic yet. We ain't even added nothing in on Logic yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, stopping it all with Logic. With the click of the stop like that. Stopping it all with Logic like that. With it. Still playing the FL synth over here. You know what I mean? So, that's the video. Hey, yo, here's saving the video. And whoops, nobody's perfect. Um, still give the video a thumbs up. Hope you liked it, enjoyed it, learned something. Maybe the quality wasn't that great because the screen capture program didn't record the audio like it was supposed to. So it was all cell phone audio. My apologies. Hope you still liked it. So that's the video. Trying to keep it somewhat short. I try to make the edits clean. Peace. I'm going to try to make more videos. Y'all make videos too. Keep on positive vibes. Keep working. Keep doing your thing. Peace, love. Let's go, let's get it. Peace.